Welcome back! In this video, I just want you to see that you can have what are called future value and present value factor tables. Here I constructed one such table by utilizing an annual interest rate of 4%. For each different rate, you will need a different table. So how can we use this table? Say for example that I have $1,000 at equal 0. That is, this 1000 is in present value terms. And I want to see into how much this amount will grow in 7 years. In other words, I want to calculate the future value in year 7. So I will go over here at 7, get the future value factor which is 1.32 and multiply that number by my initial 1000. So given an interest rate of 4%, $1,000 will grow to 1,000 times 1.32, which equals $1,320. Also, these calculations are nothing complicated. They are just 1 plus r to the nth power, which in this case, with an interest rate of 4%, is the same as 1.04 to the nth. So in essence, we just input a different n over here for each of the years presented in the table. I've created a similar table with present value factors, assuming the same interest rate, on the next slide. And this can be used in the same manner as the previous one. So in this case, these are 1 over 1 plus r to the nth, that is 1 over 1.04 to the nth. And again, we input a different n for each year. Let's see an example. Let's say that I have $500 resting in year 9 and I want to see into how much that amount translates to in present value terms. So in similar fashion to what I did before, I will go over here at 9 and I will find the appropriate present value factor. I will then multiply my 500 by this number. That will give me a present value of 500 times 0.7 which equals $350. It might be useful for you to know that when constructing the tables, I round it to two decimals, which truth be told is not that precise. The more decimals you keep, the better. If possible, you should strive to keep them all. If it's not possible, I'd say you should at least use four decimals in your calculations. I really hope you enjoyed this video.